So in this video, guys, I want to talk about how I would definitely love having Apple make a Chromebook competitor. Chrome has the Chromebook. I want Apple to have the Safari book. And let's go ahead and just take a look at, you know, these are the, the things that I would love for Apple to, to make the Safari book possible. These are the things that I wanted to have. I think it would be an awesome idea. Uh, I love Chromebooks and the lightweight alternative operating system it runs compared to Windows, compared to um, Mac OS. And let me tell you why and, you know, how I picture the perfect Safari book and how Apple could pull it off. So I've been using Chrome books as my main laptops for man i want to say at least six seven years um i haven't looked back um i think they're awesome for the type of person that i am um i'm a minimalist i like uh, the ease of use a lot of the stuff that i do is online um chromebooks have been more productive for me less frustrating than having a windows pc or a MacBook with Mac OS. Now, the main thing that I like about having Chrome is that it's just simple to use. And Windows PCs are just total garbage. They've been just bloated pieces of, of, of garbage for a while. And Mac OS, honestly, they, they market it as a more easy, intuitive system to use, but I think it's full of fluff as well. There's too many menus. Um, if I wanna uh, sell my MacBook or something like that, it's kind of complicated to even do that. It's not as straightforward as iOS or as Android. And that's where, you know, Chrome has really, um, you know, been I've been so curious about and I love the way it's implemented. But I think, if you there's some things about chrome that i do not like and that i think apple could definitely make the perfect perfect improved chromebook um by, and having it revolve around the cloud and safari being like the main thing just like chrome is on a chromebook I, this this would be called a safari book so one of the great things about chromebooks is the price you can find some for as cheap as 200 dollars but I don't think Apple would be able to make a, uh, a Chromebook competitor or Safari book at that price. It's just not their style. I think I'd be willing to pay, you know, regular MacBooks cost a MacBook Air, modern one, brand new with everything in there, a uh, base model is a thousand bucks. I think I would be able, I, I would um, be able to pay, let's say anywhere from six to seven hundred dollars. I think Apple would still, it's still going to be more expensive than, than their Chromebook and a Windows PC than most of them and still be way competitive um, compared to the, you know, to the, to the MacBook, you know, they're going to cannibalize MacBook sales, regular ones for a thousand dollars. But I think there's a lot of people that would jump onto the $700 price point. So next, everything obviously is going to run on Safari. So we live in a mobile world. We live in the cloud um, and the browser is the number one thing. I use Chrome, you know, you use Chrome browser on the Chromebook. Safari would be the browser, obviously, in a Safari book. Um, storage wise, you don't need a lot of storage on us on, on the Safari book. I would say at the bare minimum 64 gigs of storage and i think they could pull it off because uh you're not gonna have a lot of it's not gonna be bloated with tons of stuff you're not gonna have desktop level um programs and apps and stuff like that so i think you can manage at 64 but if they could put in 128 gigs that would be awesome right there now there's gonna be several things about the safari book that would be appealing to me and i think that they should focus on things that you know that the chromebook has but add in its own you know just put in some of the stuff from the um from the iphone and the ipad such as airdrop um that's something i use all the time on uh, on an iphone and i think that's something that would be set it apart from the chromebook it'll be a big improvement is having airdrop so you could um send videos and file to and from the safari book and the iphone Next is FaceTime. Chromebook doesn't really have, uh, Chrome and Android don't really have a viable, easy to use, universal um, video messaging app. So uh, FaceTime would be definitely a super good implementation in a Safari book. 
Next is iMessage. Same thing, Chrome and Android have all these weird ways of, of having all these multiple apps dealing with um, messages and stuff like that. If, if the Safari book could have iMessage, that would be awesome. A big thing uh, that would se separate the Safari book from the Chromebook and Chrome OS would bring back those widgets. You know, they had those widget pages. I think from, from the old uh, Mac operating system, I think those would be perfect on this. So you would have like the weather, you would have stocks, you would have, you know, pretty much all the widgets that are available now on uh, iOS that you know all that stuff would be awesome like having it you know go to the side and you have all these widgets you know it's just something simple and fresh and quick and it doesn't hog up a lot of resources they're not really apps you know they're just glances of information i think that would be awesome on the safari book and pretty much everything's going to be centered around icloud so you got your photos your apple music your mail um notes contacts files all that stuff is already built into the mac and on, on ios if you could just have those things and you know since this is everything's in the cloud you're not gonna hog up the storage in the macbook in the safari book itself so everything's gonna be centered around icloud apple already has a, a great um a suite of icloud cloud uh, focused um you know apps and and stuff and, and then since you since Apple only gives you five gigs of storage space in the cloud, I think it'll be a great way for Apple to boost people to step up to get 50 gigs or, or more of, uh, of iCloud storage. So that's something that'll keep people hooked on a Safari book at $700. I would like to see voice notes. Um, I think you know just by having a usb type c port would would be nice and simple and clean um i think having like some type of virtual iphone mirror so it's like you could control your your iphone see the iphone in a virtual format on the safari book that, i think that would be something that probably doesn't take a lot of resources and that would be a nice little thing that would keep it um fresh something different from the regular macbook um, if you could do, if, you know, um, uh, what do you call it? Air print would be something that I would like to see on a, on a Safari book. Basically what the Safari book for me is like what the iPad should be, but you do need a keyboard. And let's be honest, you do need a keyboard and, uh, in a, in a laptop format. And that's what I like about Chromebooks. Um, Chromebooks are touch screen. You could fold the screens, you could flip them over. You can do all this stuff. But the main thing for me is like all I need is a full screen keyboard, a full screen browser and the ability to just have it in a, in a laptop. You got, I could fold the screen back and forth, but actually sit on my lap and not let it be flopping over with uh, detachable keyboards and, and stands and all that stuff and magnets and all. No, that's not good. This is why a Safari book would be awesome because the keyboard is key for productivity and everything we could do productive, it could be done in the cloud. Um, I would also like to see um, AirPlay. So AirPlay mirroring, all that good stuff would be perfect on a uh, Safari book. Um, your little section for notifications. And then also, um, just like iMessages and stuff, you could have your calls from your iPhone appear on your Safari book. I think they should bring over the um, automatic hotspot detection from your iPhone to the Safari book something that chromebooks do they automatically detect the hotspot on your um, android phone and put it over so i think that would be a great implementation now I'm, I'm sure this is not gonna happen apple if you're somehow listening to this video or watching it or whatever i think it would be like something awesome it's obviously it's probably gonna cannibalize uh regular macbook sales but there's a lot of people that don't want to pay a thousand dollars for a brand new a laptop i think at 700 dollars it would sell like hotcakes it's it'll it, um, i like the um, i like the way that chromebook clean you know it refreshes or um resets itself like if i'm gonna buy a chromebook or sell a chromebook and i just want to clean it like in less than two minutes i think some that's something that the safari book could do just like iphones you could uh, wipe them away real quick i find it cumbersome uh the way that a regular macbook has to do if you're gonna sell it you have to like hold down these buttons and then refresh it like there's no just reset button like on android or on a um, on an iphone 
so yeah this is just something like more intuitive i mean it's it's gonna have less capabilities than a regular mac it's not gonna run it's not gonna be touchscreen i don't need this safari book to be a touchscreen i just need it to be more friendly to use more intuitive just uh everything's done in the cloud i don't need like oh if, if they could throw in like an m1 processor since there it's since it's an in-house chip whatever the m1 is the previous model stick that in there and i think apple could really pull off a super fast super like new thing they haven't launched a new wow product in a while besides the iphone and i think this would be the product it would you know chromebooks are taking over the world apple if you didn't notice um you do have a high um margin when you sell your your macbooks but i don't know it's like if you could sell a cheaper product that would attract a lot more users it would it would it would, it would keep them in their apple ecosystem even more just have an alternative 300 dollars if you want all the desktop apps and you want more storage and more powerful processing power you could have it could offer that too but man a safari book would just be awesome they have the surface books but when i i hate windows i want to stay away from windows i don't like what you know it's just garbage quality a safari book would just totally change i would buy one in a second and that's been my uh, my ideas my wish uh of how apple would uh create a chromebook competitor thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one peace